This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to create nav targets in the PVI 800 navigation console. The first step is to go into the options page of the ABRIS, enter setup for units, and change the coordinates to display decimal points. Once latitude and longitude have been changed to include decimal point, enter navigation, select map, and then info. With the ABRIS in information mode, we can slew the cursor around using the ABRIS cursor control knob, which will display the coordinates for the selected location on the ABRIS information screen. To create the nav target, slew the cursor over the area you wish to create the target. You can see coordinates are listed directly under the map display. Enter the edit mode for the PVI 800, select nav target. Now select the number for the target point you wish to create then enter the coordinates, beginning with north-south or east-west. Enter this using the zero key for north or east and the one key for south or west. Since Georgia is north and east, zero will most likely always be used. As seen again with longitude, I will start by entering zero for east, followed by the rest of the screen. As the coordinates are entered, the enter key will begin to flash. Pressing this will save the coordinates as a nav target. Pressing reset will clear them. I'll demonstrate the process one more time by slewing onto another position to enter another nav target. Once I have the location for the second nav target, I'll move over to the PVI 800, create nav target 2, starting with north 43381, mark east 043175. Now once the coordinates are entered, I'll press the enter key to save it as nav target 2. Next, moving back into operation mode, we can select the nav targets by selecting nav target 1 or nav target 2, and we can data link them between our flight as needed. The same process can be applied to the other functions of the PVI 800 to include new airfield locations or add new waypoints, which will be covered in future tutorials.